Hello, welcome back to BS Life. In this video, I want to show you the whole process of making um, an AR monkey. Um, we're gonna be using Blender to put everything together, but the final result basically it's gonna be something like this. So I will have. I already have the monkey here. Um, Oops, everything is a bit slightly a bit slow. So I have this Reality Composer app and I created a monkey that's actually dribbling a basketball. And this is the monkey. So here we have two assets, the monkey and the basketball. The monkey is from one website and the basketball is from another website, which is a blend swap. This guy, I forgot, but I'll, I'll show you in a, in, a, in a bit. So you can basically go to AR mode and simply place the monkey like what I did here on the floor of my MacBook. Pro keyboard and you can play and you can see the monkey is dribbling so it's probably not very perfect but it's because I did it really really fast but I'm gonna show you the whole process so the monkey we need the monkey asset and the basketball assets like I write over here so we need we have monkey assets we have to rig the monkey gives the monkey animations uh, using Mixamo in this case and then we need basketball asset from blend swap. So the first thing I did was actually search for monkey chimp uh, rig download. And I, that's the that's actually the link. Uh, we should take you to this website. So animated chimpanzee rig 3D model. This one is quite old and who made this? There's a model ID, etc. It's actually, the file is actually an FBX for Autodesk 3ds Max, but Blender can open it, no problem. And the monkey seems to have a little bit of animations. So let's take a look very, very quickly using Blender on the iPad. So we have this sidecar. I'm gonna delete everything. This is a default the default blender file i'm gonna import fbx find the monkey that i already downloaded which is this guy catnav.com model chimp default options import fbx just takes a few minutes to open it and then now you can see you cannot see the monkey because the monkey is probably too small because you can see here the scale 0 0.01 okay let's clear the keyframes set this to one now we can see this monkey the, the monkey the monkey actually came with texture as you can see here give it a bit of light um the skeleton seems to have animations as well so if i let's go to timeline or you can see there's an animations on the monkey i don't like the legs seems like maybe when i'm importing it into blender the leg is not being calculated properly that's okay we're gonna get rid of, of everything actually um if we go to graph editor select everything and delete keyframe i believe we, we delete everything with the with the bones actually if you want to manually animate this uh, you can you can reset it first option r so now the monkey is reset the monkey is not really on the floor it's in the center but uh if you actually you can actually use mix some more for this mix some more is if we are using the ipad and go to mixamo.com yeah you simply need to uh, just need to log in and then you import the the monkey 
as FBX. So this monkey, uh, you just export it out without the bones. Uh, just export the mesh, export as FBX, and then bring it into Mixamo. And in inside Mixamo, you can pick an animations that you like. Let me quickly check if I'm still recording. Yep, I'm still recording. Good. So from Mixamo, if you bring back the animation, it's gonna look like something like this. For example, this is the monkey with the salsa dancing. So, okay. You got a lot of motion capture animations that you can apply into the monkey. The one I, I'm using in this case is the, the monkey doing dribbling, basketball dribbling. Um, so it looks something like this, dribble. So this is the monkey and I need to create my timeline. So monkey is dribbling. So it, this is only like 64 frame. This is like a looping animations. I'm not gonna be making any anything complex. Just very simple. The monkey is doing dribble, three times dribbling and then looping back to the first. So what we need over here is of course just the the ball. So we need a ball. Not not just a sphere. You can use sphere and then animate the ball. But I'm actually using a ball that's uh, I got from Blendswap. So the result is something like oh we don't have the ball yet. Chimp demo file open recent chimp demo number two. There is no ball number three. That's the chimps doing that. Where's the the one with the ball? Chimp demo one two three sine wave. Where's maybe under download chimp animated. Dribble. It's probably this one, yep. So this is the chimp already animated with the balls. The way I animate the ball is actually uh, super simple. And you can see the animation of the ball is simply just one, two, three, three times bouncing ball and then it's, it's gonna loop back to the beginning. So maybe I have the monkey with the just the ball before I animate anything. The ball seems to be pretty high res. Okay, now this is just the monkey and just the ball. I'm gonna switch to orthographic and then go to the front. Okay, something like this, and we have the balls. The ball should be a little bit smaller, just fit the, the monkey hands. Let me quickly check. I have keyframe on the scale, clear. Make it smaller, just like that. Okay, cool. File, save as, chimp dribble, start again, zero, zero, 001. I've done this a couple of times, but uh, I, I failed the recording, so I have to do it. I try to do this again. So this is the first frame of the, of the basketball hit I and then keyframe location rotation and scale okay and let's try animate this it's very simple let's, we're gonna just gonna pick up the the extreme so like at this point the ball should be at the bottom keyframe so origin and then the monkey push it maybe at this point you want the monkey to still the ball should be maybe up there. Push the ball and the ball bounce. At this extreme, the ball should be up there. Keyframe. We are doing it in a two dimension, so we, we are really sure um, that the ball will hit the floor. Things like that is very important. Now, the monkey push the ball once again. At this extreme, the ball should be down there keyframe one two 
the ball goes should bounce again at the extreme up here the monkey will grab the ball once again and push the ball it's gonna bounce keyframe so the ball gonna goes up but at this very very point it, it should be the same as the first more or less the same now we just need to look at we just check the animations and see if, if it's uh, if it's pretty good um, it should be okay at this stage uh, it's a good idea to save a different version so you can always go back so we have the the ball bouncing we just need to tweak tweak this in the in the animation graph editor so this is the graph editor and we have the ball bouncings like look look at the ball in the z axis we want to turn on the only selected curve keyframe so we only see the curve of whatever channel we are working on so bouncing ball currently the ball is very floaty feeling because we need to tur to turn this kind of scale it make it so it's like bouncing when the ball hits the floor it should bounce it's not like floating like this the animation curve is wrong so we need to kind of just scale it i'm using s something like that now check the animations should be should feel a little bit better check if there is like um overlapping if the ball goes through the hand like that that's definitely wrong you gotta fix that keyframe and you can see at this point maybe perhaps this should be more like like that like shooting down and goes ball goes up and there you go this should shoot down once again shoot down like that maybe a little bit like this but at the extreme the ball should be up there and like at this point the ball still should so there's a like a hold like a moving hold up there usually animation takes the longest whoops save okay keyframe it needs to shoot down there seems to be like a snapping happening here oh well the animations I mean less keyframe is actually better so I'm just I shouldn't do that too much oh, okay there's like weird wobbling there So, but anyway, you got the idea. So, I'm not gonna s spend too much time. But uh, what I like, I said, the animation will take the longest. And once you you have the animation ready, you simply need to export the basketball and the the monkey as a separate USDZ. So you can then bring it into the Reality Composer app, which is this guy right here. And the actual animations that the actual behavior that you need to apply if i tap over there there's a behavior one is for the monkey simply enable the animations and then loop it and yet we have the ball 
if we didn't loop it, see what happened? One, two, three, the ball stops. So we need to turn on looping. Now we have the animation of the monkey. So at this stage, you can do an export and then just save it, send it to your friend or something, or just test it out. Like this. Okay, I have the monkey on my MacBook Pro once again. Place is a bit dark, but you can see the animations. Hit playback and you have the monkey. Would be quite nice if the, the head of the monkey is actually can follow the camera. So I will have to check on that. I believe I can unparent the bone. But I think this is pretty cool um, example of how you can kind of mix and match just a couple of assets. I start with a monkey. I know I want to animate a monkey, a chimp in this case. And I need to rig and animate the monkey. I'm using my mix some more in this case, but you can rig and animate the monkey inside Blender. And we have basketball assets. So we, we combine the two and this is what we get. So just like you can see inside Blender, this work exactly the same um, as an as AR. So I think this is one um, pipeline or one workflow where you can work. Uh, of course, if you are really like doing something like this, um, maybe this is gonna be like one scene, just part of a, a game. Um, so this is just a, as a very simple example, a monkey dribbling, but if the monkey start playing basketball, it's gonna be interesting. Um, yeah, is there any movie that's using chimp to play basketball? I don't think, I don't think there is. Maybe there's an, a movie about um, chim chimps playing baseball or a gorilla playing um, some kind of sport. I can't remember, but chimpanzee is interesting. It, like, you can make creature that's realistic or more like fantastic or like an alien. Um, so everything, like... Imagine if you have access to all kind of 3D assets and then think about what you can yeah what you want to create because there is no limit to what uh, you can imagine and you can create like is it going to be a story or is it going to be like something you want to share something you experience and you want to share so this is like uh, because we are working with 3D assets you need to think about how the assets going to look like in this case, of course, it's kind of realistic, but we, we don't really see the hair, but this monkey is actually pretty good. This is a uh, very good. I don't know where the, uh, who made this, but maybe like years ago and in the basketball, another person made this uh, from blend swap. But yeah, someone in 2019, which is me, recreated this for AR. So it's kind of interesting. So there you go. Um, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye.